Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today you may know something a little bit different, like I'm not playing any games or anything. I'm making a video on a mod that I made for the Kerbal Space Program. And this is another thing I've been up to. Just let me get into my chair properly. <coughs> so, this is it here. This is what you'll get when you download it. You might get this, I don't know. So pretty much all you got to do is right click open with archive utility and then it will give you the file as a file cool now you, you have a bunch of files in here you can read this if you want it's a lot of blubbering text I'm terrible at C2 art my official mod pack a bunch of different things of the history and stuff and things I'm planning on doing later. And these are the non implemented features thing, it tells you about them. The actual things themselves, I've got textures and stuff that I made with Blender and models. All Blender. So, yeah. Now, once you put the file in there, you just want to go into your Steam. Okay, here it is, just loading up, and I'll come back to you when it's finished. Hello, guys, I'm back about 10 minutes later. The year is probably like a split second, but here it is. Hello! Yeah. Okay, so, you just start a game. I'm just going into my world I use a lot. This is my default world, it's not called anything, it's default. And it should take a while to load up, here we go. And now I'll show you over the parts in this mod. Okay, here we are. Now we're just going to get a standard 1, 2, 2 pod. And propulsion, first thing. First things first, you have the hydro generation mini engine it run it has 50 thrust and as you can see it runs on hydrogen and oxidizer which I'll get onto in a second now this is the TNT ejecting rocket in rocket motor it's the most powerful one pretty much 110 thrust uh, 10 per second so that's a hundred seconds on the standard tank these weigh a heck of a lot and so here the 160 is a more powerful one and it runs on radioactive material and coolant Tri tritium engine tritium and coolant ridiculous amounts yeah okay yep so i'm going to show you a few of these in action starting off with the tnt engine which is overpowered as anything these things can get escape trajectories like really easily or well, they used to be able to I can't now. I've nerfed them. So just level up. T S A S. -S and it's not taking off. What? 110 thrust is not taking off. Here we go. Just needed to burn a bit of fuel there. So you can see these aren't the best engines. Don't have much thrust. A lot of fuel. Don't have much thrust. These will go for like interplanetary missions. Is this thing SBI? Yeah, it's slowly increasing SBI. S Specific impulse. Go out of the way, these things are pretty much invincible. They stop like a bunch of fall damage. See, this thing's going for a rather long time. Six kilometers. But it does have a huge dang five ton weighing pod on it. So. Okay, I have got an apple ups of 12 kilometers. And now I'm falling. Ridiculously fast. I have to show you this in action. These engines are ridiculously 
blow a yuppie, I guess. Whoa, what happened to the pool there? Went technical rainbow. Okay, so I'm just coming in for a landing. No fuel left, what do I do? I have an engine here. That's what I do. See? Makes a farting sound. And then I land safely! Take that 12 kilometers! Oh, there's Mimbus. <coughs> so that's an example of engines. Okay, oh my gosh, that has a lot of fuel. Not much for this though, 550 thrust. Control. You've added an inline advanced spinnerizer, which has 60 torque, which is ridiculous. And as you can see, you still have the stock parts. These have been changed a bit. And stuff. And here you have things, nothing. And uh, here you have a circular hydrogen scoop which scoops up hydrogen. So they pick up quite a bit. So yeah. Then your things run over it. So you can put that there. You could put one of the wait well, you need to oxidize uh, oxidize the tank. And then one of these these are way too heavy for that. Uh, this. You could actually make a rocket, but it's very, very small. But sadly, it's only atmospheric. And I'm not sure if these still work with the new updates. Some of these won't work, but this is pretty much this. And any second now, boom! T, S, A, S, and. Yep, there we go. So the hydrogen, point twenty. So yeah, it actually works. These intakes are running this with this. And the intake survived really well. Beep! Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the utility parts. There's three. First, your hydrogen tank. Thousand hydrogen. Great stuff. A levitating electric generator, which the only way to show you is by placing it. It's actually a levitating generator. Siri. You're crazy. <laughs> Okay, my series just went off. Wow. But these levitate and they do stuff. And they don't get damaged very easily. Uh, crash on, it's 22, yeah. This thing here is a... Pretty much the same thing as an iron engine, just with 200 thrust. And it takes 121 electric charge a second, and 48 xenon. And this is a Z20K battery for the this thing. 20,000, like, whatever, electric charge. These are the giant solar panels. They're a bit bigger than the normal ones. As you can see, two times bigger, approximately, two and a half, maybe. And, yeah, and this is a Xenon container. And huge parachutes. They mark threes. They deploy a lot higher, and they have about two times. And that's about it for my mod. So if you do like KSP, you may want to consider getting my mod. Yeah. Now this is probably going to look terrible now. I am just busy right now posting it. So it's just loading for the posting. So thanks you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see ya.